Hi guys, it's your girl Lola Loves You and today's topic, we're going to go behind the scenes of Whitney Houston's 2010 InStyle cover photo shoot for the magazine. Okay, well, during this time, Whitney Houston was making a comeback. You know, she was promoting the I Look To You um, album and you know with Clive Davis, Clive Davis is genius with promoting people as his artists especially Whitney Houston he'll get you he'll get Whitney on every cover of the magazine all at once and this was one of her first comeback covers was the in style where she looks phenomenal she just looks so beautiful so let me start with the credits the credits goes to for this behind the scenes of this photo, photo shoot um the photographer for in style magazine at the time was michael Angel angelo i don't know he might still be there but i'm quite sure he probably is um she, uh, whitney was styled by heidi um finally levine um, who did her hair was Tiffany Dixon, which was Whitney Houston's, um, one of her last, um, hairstylists. Um, makeup artist Roxanne Floyd did Whitney Houston's makeup. Wonderful, beautiful makeup. We know Roxanne Floyd passed before Whitney Houston. Um, her dress is by Alexander. She wore Alexander McQueen dress. Um, what else? She had, um, Harry Lung Lungar. Um, dress. She had one of the, his dresses on. She had a Burberry bracelet. Um, Christian Louis Vuitton booties. She loved them. I think those was the same booties. If I'm not mistaken, no, they're not. But she had some. Um, they were kind of no. They were more uh, knee high boots in the um, Million Dollar Bill music video when she was um, singing at the microphone. Those was Christian Louis Vuittons too, and they was on. They was auctioned off. Um. During the set, Whitney Houston, how she kept her high energy, she listened to Michael Jackson's Thriller album and she listened to the Supreme's Greatest Hits. Isn't that? <laughs> Whitney Houston was very old school with music. She liked true music. I don't think she was such a new school um, person, a lover of music. I think she liked the classics. You know, she went back, way back, you know, the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, and probably the early 90s. So that's how... The type of atmosphere the uh, photo shoot, you know, it had. She was listening to, you know, the oldies but goodies, Michael Jackson and Diana Ross and Supreme. So she did that. Um, they said Whitney Houston chose um, clothing in a darker palette, and she also um, was. Oh, she also wore um, some type of uh, East Saint Laurent um, YSL um, pieces. So she wore that. Um, the, the first time um, In Style Magazine said they met Whitney Houston was during the um, Clinton's 1994 um, dinner. And it was a dinner, uh, I guess it was a dinner party, yeah, in honor for Nelson Mandela. She had that cream beige um, gown on looking phenomenal. And um, that's the first time In Style Magazine met her was during um, that uh, party. Um, Roxanne Floyd, they said, uh, gave her a fresh glow, um, gave her warm, like, sand blush. And during the cover shoot, Whitney Houston also wore a Calvin Klein dress. Um, she looked phenomenal. During the shoot, Whitney Houston was sober. She was bright eyed. She was happy. She was full of life. She was having fun. And I think this was the beginning of her, you know, being um, optimistic of her future, especially in the music career, in the music business. I think she really was having fun at the time. And, you know, she wasn't stressed and letting things, you know, trigger her. So I think this is one of her, um, one of her last um, photo shoots for a magazine that I think went very well and phenomenal. I think she was very happy. Um, I think it was like, like I said, excellent photo shoot. Whitney Houston on the cover of In Style magazine, and she's making a comeback. That is such epic and iconic. Um, leave in the comments down below. Do you remember this photo shoot? And what other videos of Whitney Houston would you like me to do? And I'll be back with another video. Bye, my honey bunnies. Mm -hmm.